Hello, welcome to your quick pick a card reading. I didn't even have time to really have the one, two and three numbers. So what I did was I'm in the kitchen, I found three beer bottle tops. We have otter, we have a kind of a crest with a crown. So we have the otter, we have the crown and we have the kingfisher. Okay, just <laughs> beer bottle tops that were lying around the kitchen. So focus but not too hard like a lazy focus on whichever one of these that you're drawn to okay and then what i will do is i'll put timestamps in the description box so you can quickly scooch to the otter the crown or the kingfisher whichever one you're drawn to really and we're going to have a look at what's going on in your love life it's just a quick reading it's just a few minutes of flash reading but hopefully there'll be a message in here for you that can help you and that will resonate with you, okay? So, have a look, see which one you're drawn to and I'll see you on the other side. Namaste. Hello, welcome to your pick a card reading and you chose, from my screwed up bottle tops, you chose the otter. Very cute. Okay, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? Ooh. Wow. This is great. Okay. Some of you I feel are drawn to or involved with someone who's a fire sign. King of Wands. If not fire sign, they are very confident in themselves. They're happy in their own skin. It's got that whole kind of, I always describe the King of Wands as the guy at Salsa that's like, hey, you wanna come for a spin? Yeah, you know, that kind of energy. It feels, but it feels really good. If you're single, this is a person that you will really enjoy spending time with, okay? It's nice. Um, nearly all your cards are just completely positive. If you watch my dailies, you will know that I am not afraid to say if they're not. Okay. The one card we have in reverse is a card I really like to get in reverse when it comes to love life. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, the single happy person in reverse. You may not be expecting a relationship to develop, but it will, okay? If you are already involved with somebody, there is a bit of a power struggle to be overcome, okay? I've got the strength card, which is Leo energy. Again, we've got more Leo energy with the King of Wands, which is fire sign energy. You may be a fire sign yourself. This is about, in a way, taming the lion, okay? And I don't mean just, oh, here's a person who just needs to be taken down a peg or two. It's not. It's about you and this other person finding out where the power base is, you know? It's like, you're going toe to toe, you're seeing, you're testing each other in a way, but it feels like it's a very positive outcome. Some of you may be involved with someone overseas or somebody who is long distance. There's quite a lot of quite complicated stuff going on for a lot of people at the moment. We've got the two of wands, which is about making a decision. There may down the line with this person be a decision about where you're gonna live or who's gonna live with who or who's gonna give up their lifestyle to adapt to the other person more. There's all of this stuff about fire and power and decisions, but it feels like it has a very powerful, decent outcome. We've got the two of pentacles, again, another two card, so it's a decision card juggling finances, money, commutes, countries, locations, all of that kind of weird practical stuff in order to make this more harmonious. We've got the Four of Swords, lovely card, finding a balance, finding peace, finding some happiness here, I really like it. Then we have another card which represents kind of dual energy. We've got Cancerian energy in the chariot. So you may be dealing, you may be a Cancerian dealing with a fire sign here. 
This is really good emphasis for long-term potential. This has a lot of long-term potential, okay? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. It's not, at the moment, it might just feel like a power struggle, but it's a relationship that is building, okay? It's, it's building and it may have started off like with the power being in one way and it feels like it's now being adjusted. Okay, I'm doing some Romance Angel Oracles for you. <laughs> and they are interesting. Okay, what do we need to know about this? Oh, well, we'll have that. We've got a Healing with the Angels Oracle card stuck in the middle of them. Often happens with me. Okay, this is interesting. We've got free yourself. One of you still has ties to an ex. Release your ex, okay? There is still, and it may be your person, I'm not sure, you will know. There is still the energy of somebody else's foot slightly in the door. I don't think they're a current person. You get unrequited love. And I think in the beginning of this relationship, one person was more into it than the other one, or one person was braver than the other one, whether they showed, you know, but they were into it, but they weren't showing it. One person was braver, and it may have been you. What's happening now is that's getting rebalanced. The power base is shifting. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. This is weird. It feels like you have a connection to this person, but it's got something to do with releasing an ex. They may remind you in some ways of an ex, or you may have an effect on them releasing an ex. And it may be a pattern that you've played out before in a past life relationship. And then we get the flirt energy. Now, I don't think this is flirting with other people necessarily. I feel like it's flirting in terms of banter, in terms of having that kind of power balance battle, but in quite a fun way. That's what it feels like here. It feels like any battle you have with this person is fire. It's kind of energy. It's entertaining. It can be fun. There can be humor and sensuality. This has really good energy for me. It's definitely in a time of change, a time of flux, and it may feel to you, like I say, like you're just in the power battle stage. Stick with it. It feels like it has something really good to come out of it, okay? Oh, I love this for you. Um, do check out my other readings in the description box and do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Namaste. Hello, you chose the crown. The weird crest, look at that. It looks like it's been stood on, doesn't it? That beer bottle top. Okay, what do we need to know? What potential is there with this relationship, please? Let's put those back. You may have been tempted by um, the otter as well, the first one. Sorry, I'm tripping over my own microphone. Um, and you may listen to both. So just saying it feels like that. What do we need to know about the potential of this relationship, please? Ho, 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 ho. Bye gum. This is interesting. Ho! Okay. Oof. There's a lot in this. I want one more and I want it to be that one. Oh my God. Okay. You've been through a lot with this person. Okay. I can see that. This is complicated. It feels complicated. There's so much in here. Um, there's confusion. Ace of Swords in reverse. They may say things and behave differently. 
they may not say anything at all at the moment. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who I feel you're in separation. Uh, I don't know if it's ever with or from, but you're in separation. Or there is a distance between you, certainly emotionally, physically, you know, whatever it is, there's a distance. I've got the eight of wands in reverse, not speaking, not really communicating, or if you are communicating, it's not really saying anything. It's like, why are we speaking? But at the same time, if we're not getting any further on. We're not making any sense. The person that you're dealing with may have caused you some disappointment in the past. I've got the Three of Swords in reverse, or you may suspect that they betrayed you or that something was hidden from you or they're not telling you something. You may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, um, possibly a fire sign, but I'm getting more of an air sign thing, really. I've got justice in the reverse. There are also, you know, in some relationships, there are also... It's also whether the universe has kind of been behind you. And sometimes it feels like the universe is working against you a bit. And I think that's been the case in this relationship. There is definitely something here, though, that is hidden from view and that needs to... It needs to come out and it needs to be said and I don't think it has been said yet and I feel like it's a kind of a secret or um, I don't even think it's a misunderstanding. I think it's deliberately not been said but at the same time it's stifling the energy of this relationship. At the bottom I've got the tower in reverse. This is where you've got this constant pressure cooker of you wondering why they're not saying anything about it and them not saying anything about it and a lack of communication and you getting more and more, I think, antagonized and possibly if you're finding yourself trying to puzzle this person out an awful lot, analyzing text messages, looking at social media, any of that, cut that out. It's not gonna get you there, okay? Down here, I've got the high priestess. I wouldn't be surprised if you were a water sign or have water in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you, one, you already know the truth. It's something you can discover through, through divination, through intuition, through juju, and through dreams, and the universe will show it you if you relax into your psychic side. Two, it may take you taking a really strong stance if you want this to work. And I'm not saying you should, and I'm not saying it will work, because for some of you, you may feel like your trust has been betrayed and you can't get it back. I've got the magician here, and I'm seeing two things. One, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but two, you also have the power to... I'm not going to say discover the truth because that again involves analysis. The power to get down to what's really going on here. Then here we've got the Eight of Cups. You may have already dealt with a breakup with this person or be dealing with separation from this person. Otherwise, it may be that you've realised you need to create distance with this person in order to reset the energy so that if they can come forward then maybe you're on a kind of level playing field and it has potential. You also have in here the Nine of Cups. And this is the universe urging you to say, can this person truly make you happy? Or if you're involved in a very complicated relationship with this person and maybe it isn't making you happy, why am I here? Which is a difficult but simple question to ask yourself and give yourself compassion and time to answer it, okay? Ultimately, you have the Six of Wands. Ultimately, you're the magician, and ultimately, you will, I don't wanna say win, because it's not like a contest, but ultimately, you will find love, but I'm not sure if it's with this person. 
the potential here relies very much on your emotional bravery and theirs. They need to be able to show up, okay? Romance Angel Oracle card, you get it is safe for you to love, with or without this person. You get attraction, and again, if you've had a lot of difficulty and you've lost some confidence with this, it's very important for you to continue to be attracted to yourself, but also to what's around you. Even if it is just sniffing a flower or you know, admiring the rainbow and the bubbles in the washing up or whatever it is, keep your attraction levels high if you can because even though it's been difficult with this person and your trust has been, I think, tested, you owe it to yourself, it is safe for you to love and you owe it to yourself to keep your juju high, okay? And then just for some of you, there are children involved with this or there may be children involved in the whole situation. But I would say if children were making this difficult, and for some of you with justice in reverse, they are, and I don't mean children being responsible for it, that's quite what I'm trying to say is, they're not responsible for that. As in, let's say for example, you're dealing with someone who says, you know, I can't really sort this out because I've got a difficult time with my children. The right person would find a way. The right person would wait until there is a good time and be sensitive towards everybody. It feels like there needs to be a very big authenticity kick in this relationship. It needs, everybody needs to be authentic and honest. But I think here you may have to distance yourself from someone if they're not, and it's only then that you find out what they're really made of. Whew, we got there. Do check out my other pick a card readings that are in the description box below and love readings, and subscribe to the channel so that you will pick up, right, when I put a reading like this out using beer bottle tops at the last minute, you'll be here to receive it. So I'll see you soon. Namaste. Hello, you chose Kingfisher. <laughs> Here it is, the Kingfisher bottle top. So, we've got the Lightseer's Tarot for you. What potential is there in this relationship? Let's have a looky see. I want to try and do a bit of a shuffle, big girl shuffle. If this resonates with you, there are loads of other timeless pick a card readings in the description box below. And also, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel and hit the wiggly bell and then you will get like for this reading for example i just decided to do it right now got myself some beer bottle tops and cracked on so you'll get stuff like that okay um and the dailies and pick a cards and all that kind of stuff so wherever that button is do remember to hit that okay Whew. oh my god This is a bit complicated. Whew. You um, may have been drawn to number two, which was this one as well. Because the, it's not the same, but there's similarities. There's a decision to be made with this particular connection, it feels like to me anyway. I've got the two of cups in reverse. So you may already be in some kind of hiatus with this person where you're wondering what your connection is made of. You may be in separation from this person. You or they may have walked away from this relationship. And your question is, does it have the potential to come back? Or do they have the potential to come back? Or could this work again? Or could this ever work? You know, that's, that's the feeling I'm getting from this. Again, I may be dealing here with water sign people, as in you yourself may be a water sign person. Along with the two of cups in reverse, I've got the eight of cups. Now, I think if you watch my dailies, 
I always say with the Eight of Cups, there are some cards you can talk around and there are some cards that are just Dems de cards. The Eight of Cups is the Eight of Cups. There is either a separation on the horizon or there's been one. Someone's distanced, someone's walked away or someone needs to or is going to, okay? That's what the Eight of Cups is. You know, I never, I don't glitter the turd and it may not be a turd actually. Um, because it's a bit more complicated than that. Some of you, if you're in separation from this person, I've got the hanged man in reverse. Almost certainly the hanged man in reverse means that there is a new momentum about this relationship, even if it's just, it's come to mind a lot more recently, or you seem to be thinking of them a lot more. I've got this high priestess in reverse as my overall energy. This is why I think it's linked to the, um, the beer bottle top with the crown on. I want to take some other cards for you. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna take Brian and Wendy Frude. This is tricky. I feel like this relationship had a lot of potential, but I feel like it was interrupted I've got here the nine of pentacles. It feels like you may have started to find your feet. Hmm. You may have been dealing with someone who may not have had the emotional maturity to keep up with you. Yeah. I get the boy and I get that when someone doesn't have the emotional maturity to keep up with you, but I also get the challenge. This stage you're at with this person is a challenge. Literally it's a challenge because it's difficult, but it's also a challenge for both of you as to whether this has full blown potential or whether you should look elsewhere. Over here, I've got the Prince of Light. He's great. He comes in with this egg, he comes in with this light, he's full of, he brings something to you. And I think the question you need to ask yourself about your person is what do they bring to the table? Do they bring energy to you? Do they bring warmth? Do they bring love? Do they bring something you can't give to yourself? Um, rest assured with this, that if they can't, someone else will, because that's coming up for you a great deal. I've got the fool. If this is to have potential with this person, it has to be an absolute new beginning though. So I would say there would have needed to be a period of time where you were not communicating, because it feels like there needs to be a complete reset with this person. I'm just gonna take a couple of blunt truth cards. And I do feel like with that nine of pentacles, yeah. I do feel with like that nine of pentacles, the universe does want you to find your own independence and it may be that it's only when you feel, as it always is, isn't it? Um, when you feel okay, that they will come back. We are on hold, but I'm coming back for you. Not surprised to see that. My ego is loud, <laughs> but I am listening to my soul. I'm striving for spiritual enlightenment. I'm gonna take an oracle card for you as well. This person is a challenge for you and it can only really have potential if you're prepared to be on your own. And that is a weird thing to say in a relationship reading. To the sea, again, the ability to be able to put out, <laughs> that sounds bad, doesn't it? I don't mean it like that, to put the bath out to the water rather than the water in the bath, okay? When you put water in a bath, you can control it. You put the bath in the water, you're, you're at the mercy of the waves. You're a bit at the mercy of the waves here but the focus you need to have is not on the other person, it has to be on yourself, okay? I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna take a couple of Chuck Spetsano love cards. 
also this is interim this energy is for the next few weeks but I feel like this is like a hump in the road you know we're getting got humps we've got putting out I mean it's all going on we got luck tris if you get offered a date with someone else online or whatever is going on at the moment take it okay also you could bump into this person god knows how we're in sort of pandemic but you can bump into people online there is a sort of secrecy about this but it's lucky okay so what this means is you may get an offer from someone else at least give it a try if you feel good about it or you could have a chance meeting with your person. Lack of self-worth is at the bottom of all this and it's your person who suffers from the lack of self-worth. We have using. I would say with this that your person is, um, may have had bad experiences in the past and that has made them wary, but that's no excuse for them to bring that to you because you're not that person from the past. But I'm just saying that on a point of information. Okay, so it is a challenge, there is potential, but only if you can absolutely stay in your own corner and in your own power, okay? Leave me a comment, do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Namaste.